Annyeong Chenggu! Travel with Carla in Lida! We are now inside my office room because this is my personal space dito sa aming bahay. I'm going to tour you around but instead, kasi naisip ko magkaroon ng uh, bag rate. But then, I realized it's better to have a room rate. I will show you how much uh, Korean items or how many Korean products I have in this room. Let's uh, fill that chair up with all those products. Ah, hinapin ko yung mga products na nasa table ko, products na nasa loob ng bag ko. And let's see how many products we can count. <laughs> okay, let's go! my room and I'm going to show you all the Korean items I have okay look at that <laughs> sobrang dam okay so I'm going to show you the items that I raided okay some of them I bought in Korea and some of them are um, from the Philippines these are face masks these are face masks from NS3 I have T3 Lots of face masks. Also, for, from an online shop, Snow Cream Son, pinadala nila ako yung mga face masks. Here. Ibong Etud House. Etud House from Face Shop. From Deeper. Products. Skin food. Oh, I also like this one. And what else? What brand is this? Hanbang. Mini Hanbang. Nami ko no. Because these are from um from online shops that they, they want me to promote them. Also, uh, Hira Purifying Cleansing Water. This is the best. I like it. And what else? Shocking Hair Sleeping Cream. Ang ganda nito sa buho. What else? Dr. Belmer. Nature Republic. This is for um, Ice Puff Sun. Pag mainit, you can use this. Ampule Essence. I haven't used it yet. Cranberry Scrub from Nature Republic. Nature Republic as well. I like this for my highlights. 
the they call it eco crayon eyes from Edward House. This is eyebrow pencil from Face Shop lip paint from Horik. What do you call this one? No, this is not a Korean item. This is actually uh, made in China. You know why? It looks like a Korean item, but this is actually fake. Someone gave this to me and I told her that this is fake. Later, I'm going to um, give you some information about fake Korean products. They are like really pretending that it's a made in Korea, but then when you look carefully, you can see that the... I hope it's focused well. Okay, you can see that the writings here are not written in Korean. So beware. I, I also have sample products from Nature Republic. And this one. I like the aloe vera, the soothing gel. This one is from Nature Republic. And you know, there are so many imitations now in the Philippines. So beware. And I even made the vlog about spotting fake Nature Republic um, aloe vera gel because there are so many imitations around and in Etude House they also have watermelon so let's see if um, this one is good this really smells so good anyway well that's all the Korean products I have right now but you know, I also have one in the bathroom. <laughs> There's a lot more there because I use um, uh, a mask, uh, facial cleanser, all of them are made in Korea. And anyway, that's all. I'm going to cut this and we're going to have a new segment. <laughs> okay, bye! And I'm back. Well guys, the main reason why I created this vlog is for us to talk about fake Korean products in the Philippines. Yes, that's right. There are so many fake Korean products now, not only in those parts of the Visoria, but also inside the malls. So, how do we spot fake Korean products? Okay. I have three things to keep in mind or maybe three advices for you. First is to check the label. Usually, they are just copying the, the labels from the original ones. And also, sometimes they are just putting uh, random Korean letters, but it doesn't really make sense. Okay, so just check the label. Second, check the manufacturer, meaning where was it created? Is it really created in Korea or is it created in China or other Asian countries? So we need to be vigilant in buying the products. Lastly, my tip is to watch and read a lot of blog reviews or vlog reviews because these products are already tested by those your by those of your trusted bloggers or vloggers. Okay, so let's talk this time let's talk about um the drawbacks of patronizing fake Korean products. So what will happen to us if we use a fake Korean product? Okay, let's uh, first, it's bad for your skin. Meaning, when you use it, it, it might cause irritation because you don't know what the ingredients are. Maybe they are of low quality or stuff. And another thing is, it's a crime. Okay, so people who are imitating those um, brand packages or using the characters of a brand to put in their um, own brand are, are criminals because uh, they are violating the copyright or intellectual property rights law. And lastly, it's bad for the economy. So a lot of people or maybe um, Koreans uh, lost a lot of ones or dollars because we are supporting fake products and also if they don't earn from us the, the taxes that they pay will be lessened as well um, okay so what about those shops who sells fake Korean products in their study okay, some of the Koreans went to some stores um, I think you know them one of them is Ilahi 
Mumuso, Minikud, Yoyoso. So, beware of those brands, okay? Because they are claiming that they have Korean products, but in reality, those are just imitations and they are not made in Korea. Okay, so much for that. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you learned something from this quick talk. And I would really appreciate your comment below. Have you bought any fake Korean products? Comment down below and share your experiences with me and to my um, subscribers. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click the notification button so you will be updated with my future vlogs. Thank you everyone! Annyeong!